Okay, so now what we're going to do is look at adding the net promoter score gauge. So this is where we'll see the overall net promoter score and that's going to use um, the, the range of negative 100 to positive 100 and we'll see where that lies within that entire range. So in order to do that we're going to add a custom visual. So for that we're going to come up here and say we want to add one from the marketplace and it's a gauge so we're going to look in that specific category and we'll scroll down and I'm going to add the tachometer. So if I click on that it will give us a little bit more information, a description, some visuals and we're just going to click on add. That's going to be added to our report, not Power BI itself. So if you want to use it uh, again in another report, you will need to add it each time. Then we'll get a notification that the custom visual was successfully imported. Click OK. And we'll just go ahead and click to add that. OK, so what we want to add on here is the net promoter score overall for the entire organization, which is held on the business unit in this instance. So if I go ahead and drag that over to the value, there we can see that it's got our 42, but it's just green and the, the, um, the needle is right on the middle. So what we want to do is we want to click to format this. And if we go to the gauge access, our start value is going to be negative 100 because that's the bottom end of the scale and the end is going to be positive 100. Okay, so now the needle's actually showing in the right place, but everything's green, so we want to change that. So what we want on this is we want three different ranges. We want a red area, a yellow area and a green area. So if I do a custom color, you can use specific um, hex numbers if you have them. I'm going to do second range and we'll do the second range as a as a sort of um, let's do like a, a yellow color or an orange color now this is saying well what's the start value for this because the red is um, is the first section but we want to say well actually that will start at about uh, maybe negative 20 and then finally we've got range 3 and we maybe put that as a, a green and that might start at positive 20 or whatever you wherever you want it to be. Let's do more of a, a green. There we go. So now we can see that this is definitely falling into the red area, which is not good. Um, and you know we can we can change other things if we want to take off the um, the axis label or um, you know whatever it is that we want to do, we can change that around, take off the title and so on.